Hi all, uh, this video is also in the series of videos I have been preparing on the topic of ship stability and this video particularly focuses on the hydrostatic particulars of a ship or using the hydrostatic tables of a ship to calculate the ship stability or to obtain the parameters that are required to calculate the ship stability. Uh, I hope you have been watching my previous videos. If you have been not watching them, please watch them in series. I have provided you with a link of all those videos in the description section below. It's a good idea to watch them in series if you don't have an understanding of the concept of ship stability. Uh, this should not be the first video that you are watching. Alright, so because I'll assume that you are familiar with a lot of these terms that I'll be using. So uh, having said that, that's a quick disclaimer. Mm, let me start with this video here. So this video again continues with the topic of hydrostatic tables. Uh, I have put up a previous video on hydrostatic tables as well and I discussed four different types of questions in that video. In this video, I'll take up two additional types of questions uh, to explain the concept further. Alright, didn't want to do that in the previous video, otherwise it would have become a much of a longer video. I always try to keep my videos short. Alright, so let's start with the question straight away. Uh, you have to find the hydrostatic particulars of a vessel at 6.8 meters draft in dock water of relative density 1.015. So DW stands for dock water, RD stands for relative density. So a couple of things that you have to remember here is that uh, you don't know what hydrostatic tables are. This is what a hydrostatic tables look like. So if you can see here, the hydrostatic tables of a vessel provide with the necessary parameters such as displacement TPC and CTC that are required to calculate the ship stability. They are provided for a particular draft which is in the vertical column and also for a particular density which is normally the salt water or the sea water density of 1.025. If you have to calculate these parameters for any other relative density then you have to do some kind of corrections or uh, calculations for that. Alright, so let's go back to the question. The question says that it's 6.8 meters draft, but you are not in salt water, but you are in dock water of relative density 1.015. So before you start with the solution here, just take a couple of notes here. So for all the hydrostatic particulars that have been tabulated against the draft, those given in meters, such as AB, AF, KB, KMT and KML, hold good for that draft in water of any density I'll tell you what all that means through an example below now those given in other units such as displacement TPC and MCTC are for sea water and they need correction for dock water or fresh water now if you don't know what AB is AB is your distance of the center of buoyancy from aft perpendicular AF is the center of flotation from aft perpendicular KB is the center of buoyancy from the keel, KMT is the transverse meter center and KM is the longitudinal meter center. I'll go into all that in my future videos, don't worry about it now. And W is the displacement, TPC is tons per centimeter immersion and MCTC is moment to change trim by 1 centimeter. Now what you have to remember is that these units which are all in meters, which is AB, AF, KB, KMT and KML, they hold good for that draft in water of any density. So whatever we we can go into the hydrostatic tables and for a particular draft in this case which is 6.8 meters whatever we find from the hydrostatic tables that's the value of a b and a f whether it's sea water or whether it's dock water but those which are given in any other units other than meters that is displacement tpc and mctc which are normally given in tons uh, they are for sea water only so the value that you will be getting from the tables are for sea water only and you will have to apply the correction for a dock water or fresh water so let me show you this explanation through an example so in this question you have to find the displacement for a draft of 6.8 meters now let's go to the first case those first cases that ab af kb kmt and kml will hold good for that draft in water of any density so if i go back into the hydrostatic tables for 6.8 meters here values such as AB, AF, KB, KMT and KML they can be taken directly from these tables and used. This holds good for seawater as well as dock water of any relative density. So you don't have to do any kind of calculations or interpolation you can straight away use these values from the tables and they will be the same. For the other values such as displacement, TPC and MCTC 
you cannot use them straight off you need to apply a correction of density because these values depend on the density they change with density all right so that's why we'll be applying some correction when we go back so for displacement 6.8 meters the displacement is in seawater this is for seawater so if I have to find out the displacement for 6.8 meters draft in dock water relative density 1.015 I have to use this formula here displacement equals underwater volume by density underwater volume remains the same for a given draft in water of any density so underwater volume becomes displacement divided by density which in this case is 13943 divided by 1.025 1.025 is the density in seawater and the 13943 is displacement in seawater so this becomes the underwater volume right therefore the displacement in dock water of 1.015 density will be underwater volume right multiplied by density of dock water which is 1.015 that will give you the displacement you have to do the same for TPC and MCTC however for all the other values you can see that they are the same for the draft of 6.8 meters and you have have you copied them straight from the tables and using them all right now so let's take another question here this question says the vessel is at 4 meter draft in seawater whenever it says seawater that means we can straight away use the hydrostatic tables but it loads 5000 tons of cargo and pumps out 800 tons of ballast we have to find our final draft after the operations so if I go into the tables hydrostatic tables for a draft of 4 meters I get a displacement of 7708 from the hydrostatic tables all right then you load 5000 tons so you add 5000 and you subtract 800 tons because you are pumping out 800 tons of ballast the total displacement or the resultant displacement after the cargo operations finishes is 11908 tons correct so for 11908 tons we have to find the final draft now if you go into the tables 11908 so if i erase all this 11908 lies somewhere here between 11672 and 12122 or a draft of 5.8 and 6 meters all right so if i go back for a draft of 5 that is what i have reproduced here so the hydrostatic tables does not have the draft exactly for this displacement of 11908 what it does has is for 11672 and 12122 all right so what we'll do is again a simple case of interpolation so for a difference of displacement 450 tons this is the difference when bringing 12122 minus 11672 so for a displace difference of displacement between these two 450 tons the difference in the draft is 0 0.2 meters that's the difference in the draft and have got 0 0.2 6 meters minus 5.8 meters is 0 0.2 meters right so for a difference of 11672 and 12122 that's 450 tons the difference in the draft is 5.8 minus 6 meters that's 0 0.2 meters so for a difference of 236 tons which i have got by subtracting 11908 minus 11672 because i need it for 11908 what will be the change in the draft so multiply these two bring this down here so you get 236 by 0 0.2 divided by 450 0 .01, 0 0.105 meters is the change in draft right so now i know as i go from 11672 add 236 tons and become 11908 this is the required displacement my draft will also increase by 5.8 plus the correction of 0 0.105 and this is my final answer 5.905 meters 
all right so you have to remember the hydrostatic particulars are for sea water only and for any other water you have to apply corrections but only for those which are not in meters all right so in this case in the above case here if i have to find the tpc and mctc the rule will be the same you divide it by 1.025 and you multiply it by 1.015 all right so you will find the rest of the values as well all right so you can take so if i if i want to show it to you and again i need to go down then so again going back to question number 1 if my draft was 6.8 meters and my tpc was 22.83 this is question number 1 again if i have to find that in and this is in sea water if i have to find it in dock water then it will be 22.83 multiplied divided by 1.025 because that's the one in sea water multiplied by 1.015 which is 22.607 tons centimeter per centimeter and that's my TPC that will be my TPC in dock water so I'm just showing you another example for question number one just in case because I didn't show you these two it's the same principle that you will use in displacement for displacement as well all right so I hope this video was useful for you if there are any questions you want me to solve in any particular concepts you didn't understand just uh, right in the comment section please watch both the videos about the hydrostatic tables and hydrostatic particulars and how to use the hydrostatic tables to find the hydrostatic particulars if you still have any questions um, feel free to shoot in the comment section all right thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing i'll see you soon with my next video